title, Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty. <laughs> okay. Such a great line. Networking like Rome isn't built in a day. And I see so many people who go, oh, hi, nice to meet you. Here's my name. What's your name? Here's my card. There's your card. Okay, great. I'll call on you when I need something. And it's like this drive-by. And they come and they ask for something before they've built that relationship, before they've built that trust. And to your point, right, it's the same reason you're not going to lend me 35,000 shekels right now. We haven't built that trust. Now, I think just passing a resume is a lower bar, but it's almost a question of how you're passed. So when we look for jobs, we can of course apply online and a resume goes in a pile and maybe it's noticed, maybe it's not. So when someone says, I'm going to pass your resume along, right? Whether it's metaphorically by email or physically walking it over, that's a signal to the hiring manager. When I've got 80 resumes, if one of my coworkers says, here's someone, okay, I guarantee I'm gonna look at that resume and probably give it a little more attention than just a random one that came in. But there's still a difference between, okay, I do a quick skim because said, oh, hey, here's this guy I met at some event. I skim it and I'll treat it not that much better than just the random ones that come in. But if it's someone saying, this is my friend, this is someone I know, this is someone I recommend, that resume gets much more attention. They might even get an automatic interview. I've had people where, you know, I didn't think the resume was that strong, but this person says, hey, this is someone I know I've worked with. Yep. Okay, they get an interview. So I think the, the barrier is pretty low to just getting your resume in there, but it's then a question of how much advantage do you get by how it's given, by how much authentication and validation they provide with it.